M14 anti-personnel mine is a small mine commonly referred to as an ankle mine. It is small enough to fit in one hand. Although the size is small and the explosive power is not great, if you step on a mine, you will receive severe internal injuries. There is no way to heal a damaged ankle without amputation. They don't die right on the spot, so they have to be supported and moved by fellow soldiers. So it is an effective weapon to delay the battle. This mine is difficult to detect because only the detonator is made of metal and the rest is made of plastic. Let's take a look at the structure of the mine. The principle behind an explosion of the mine is the pressure applied on the pressure plate, which flips a disc spring within and causes a firing pin to ignite the detonator. Due to their small size, the M14 anti-personnel mine can be carried in large quantities. It is impossible to know where it is buried because it can be sprayed in large quantities using an aircraft. These mines are lightweight, waterproof, and float on water. When it rains, it is washed away by rainwater, so the burial range is expanded wider. Mines washed away by rainwater are difficult to manage and can cause damage to civilians. Now, to plant a mine, you first need to remove the safety clip. Then, dial back the mode the pressure plate is on from safe to armed. When pressure is applied to the buried mine, the spring gets pressed. And the firing pin ignites the detonator. Once the detonator is ignited, explosives surrounding it explode, and so does the grenade. Most mines use a pressure type that works when a certain pressure is applied. In the movie, if you don't take your foot off after stepping on it, it won't explode. In fact, it explodes instantly when you step on it. <laughs> 